Hey, my name is James Nicholson and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I want to talk about the seven places where house prices are dropping fastest according to Zoopla. Now, this is interesting. There's some places all around the country and it's interesting to know where are prices already down because some of these are officially in crash territory. House price crash territory already, which means maybe they've bottomed out because if you add inflation onto this, They've dropped even more than people are expecting. Now, that could be a good opportunity to go and look for some deals, or maybe it's an indication that they're going to drop even more. You can decide on that in the comments below. Now, before we jump into this, as always, if you haven't done already, do subscribe to the channel over there and hit that bell notification. We've got new content every single day. And while you're here, smash the like button, tickle the like button, or do something to that like button. Just make it turn blue some way or other. That helps me with the YouTube algorithm. It gets more views on the channel. And it just means you're an all-round great person if you do it. So, what's going on? Well, look, house prices are volatile at the moment, for sure. We've had 14 consecutive Bank of England interest rate rises. We're in a recession, I think just about We've got out of the recession, but we were in a recession, um, technically a small little one. Um, we've had interest rates that have just meant that affordability is just really tough on a lot of people. And there's uncertainty out there. And so that has meant that the property market kind of has been really slow for the last few years. And if you've got a slow market and you get more stock and more listings, then the only way to sell a house is to drop the price. And that is what's happening in some areas in the UK. So let's have a look at these. Some of them we've got a percentage drop. Some of them we don't. That is just Zoopla's data. I don't know why, but they didn't go into lots of data on all of the places. But these are places that you can go and have a look yourself and see what is actually happening in those markets. So first that you want to go and look at is... Carmenfinshire, probably saying that wrong, Carmenfinshire in Wales, uh, and house prices there have dropped significantly, 16% down, 16% down. Now, if you factor in inflation's been running at 10%, or it was for a while, then that is on top of that 16%, in real terms, house prices in that area are down massively. Really, really been impacted in that area. Now, last time we did a video, we talked about Wales and we said Welsh house prices were down. And that some of that is down to the fact that the local government has, uh, if you have a second home, you have to pay 300% council tax, which is crazy. So if it's 100 quid, you've got to pay 300 quid. Not great. And also other people were saying, I'm not sure on this one, you tell me in the comments, uh, were saying that the 20 mile an hour speed limit uh, was not attractive for a lot of people to want to live there either uh, in a lot of places. So that is one of the places that's down. Um, next is Neef in Port Talbot. And so not such a big drop here, but it is a big drop, again, when you factor in that house prices and affordability have changed because of inflation, right? So let's just say you had a house that was worth 100 grand. If you've had 10% inflation, then if you sell that stuff, you can't buy as much with that 100 grand as you could a year ago, right? In real terms, the, the price has dropped. Uh, and so 6% down in cash money, the money that you pay for it. But in real terms, it's a lot more than that. So yeah, near a 16% drop uh, there. Big, big, big drops uh, in a lot of areas. Again, this was another Welsh place. They're not all going to be Wales. Um, so next one is Anglesey. And so in Anglesey, the prices are down 4.66% on an annual basis. These are getting brutal, aren't they? So when we talk about a house price crash, just to be clear, the official term is in a 12-month period, a 10% or more drop. So this 
puts you outside of that. But if you factor in inflation, then you're kind of in a crash there. So you decide how you take the numbers. This one is definitely in a crash, right? They've definitely crashed in that area. So it's got brutal um, out there and the market is still slow. We did a video recently the other day that said, right move is getting more listings than ever. Like it's getting really busy now. And if there isn't enough buyers that quickly come into market to buy, then those might start dropping the price quite quickly. So we need to keep an eye on this stuff. Uh, next is the Vale of Glamorgan. Vale of Gla Morgan. And so what's going on in the Vale of Glamorgan? This is a big drop here, 15.7%. So similar to Carmenfinshire. Big drops there. I've got some London ones coming up as well in this list as well. But that's a big drop uh, there. And this is something you've got to keep an eye on. Um, because, look, if you buy a new build, for example, in this market with a 5% deposit and the market drops 15%, you're going to be in negative equity. And that's not a great position to be in, especially when you remortgage if you've only got a two-year deal. So that's why it's important to subscribe if you haven't done already, subscribe to channels like this so you just know what's going on, right? It's important to know what's going on. Next, we don't have on these next ones, Zoopla didn't for some reason, maddening, but they didn't put the percentage drops. So this place is called Cumnock. That is dropped. So go and have a look uh, at Cumnock. Could be a place to look at. Next, Shildon. That's down as well. So go and have a look there. That could be an opportunity if you're looking as an investor to go and buy. Um, and the next one, the last one that I've got is a London borough. Um, and so it's actually close to where I live. I live in Colston. Uh, so very, very close to that. Uh, and it's Croydon. Uh, and so Croydon prices are down. I've actually seen that with my own eyes now. Um, so this office where I am right now is in Dorking in Surrey. Uh, that's where I'm from originally. But I live in Colston and I have seen prices drop. I've seen some big detached properties in our area that are significantly lower. Uh, 100 grand off some of them. 700 grand down to 600 grand. Some big drops. So Croydon is, is suffering as well. And so Colston probably comes under Croydon anyway. Uh, so look, these are the areas that potentially could have opportunity or we should be looking at least like I did a video the other day and it was talking about the Welsh house prices going down. A few comments on there said this isn't going to move into the London area. Well, Croydon's on this list. Croydon is somewhere where prices are dropping. So it is moving all around the country. You've got to be aware if you're a buyer or an investor, make sure you buy smart. You need to be buying at the right price making sure you buy something you can add value to. And that's what is really, really important. And if you want to learn how to do that, we've got a course called The Fundamentals of Property Investing. I'm going to link to it in the description. It's less than 50 quid. Go and have a look at it and check it out. Now's the time to learn this stuff. You don't need to pay someone thousands of pounds for a course. You can learn for less than 50 quid, just as much as you can learn from them. Do check it out. Do smash the like button. Go and check out some more content on my channel, including this video right here.